Now for this part of the question, we're asked to integrate x minus 1 multiplied by the root of 5 minus x with respect to x. And we've got to do it by integration by parts. Now hopefully you're familiar with integration by parts, but if not, here's a, just a quick reminder that if you've got the integral of u times dv by dx, a product, okay, integrated with respect to x is equal to uv minus the integral of v du dx with respect to x. And for something like this, the dv by dx, the part that we've got to integrate, which gives us the v, has to be the root of 5 minus x because they asked us to integrate this in the first part of the question. So this will be my dv by dx and this part here will be the u. So okay let's get on then and start integrating this. So it's u times v. One part, this part, multiplied by the integral of the other part. And the integral of this we found out earlier was minus two-thirds then multiplied by five minus x to the power 3 over 2. And I put this in square brackets because I've got a curved brackets there. So that's that part done. Now we've got minus the integral of the part we just integrated, which was this bit here. So we just write that in as minus 2 thirds, 5 minus x to the power 3 over 2. And then we have to multiply it by the differential of the other part, the u part here. And if you differentiate x minus 1 with respect to x, you just get 1. And then we've got to put the dx on the end. We're integrating with respect to x. Now what I want to do next is just clean this up, clean the first term up. First of all, we've got minus 2 thirds then multiplied by x minus 1 and then multiplied by 5 minus x to the power 3 over 2. And then as for this term, I would want to replace this with a plus, pull the constant out to the front of the integral, always a good habit to get into, and then write in the 5 minus x to the power 3 over 2. And we're integrating with respect to x. Now I'll copy the first term out again and we'll work towards integrating that final term. So we'll put down the plus 2 thirds and how do we integrate 5 minus x to the power 3 over 2? Well it's very similar to what we had up here, how we did this one in the first part. You could do it by recognition. That's the way I'm going to do it, okay? But also you could do it, you could step to the side and do it by substitution. Just let u equal 5 minus x. But if we do it by recognition, this will be 5 minus x to the power, and we have to add 1 to the power, so that'd be to the power 5 over 2. Now I know that if I was to differentiate this by the chain rule, I would get 5 over 2 at the front here, then 5 minus x to the power 3 over 2, because I subtract 1 from the power. And then I'd multiply it by the differential of 5 minus x, which would give me minus 1. So differentiating this would really give me, I'll just write it over here, we'll rub it out in a moment, it would give me minus then 5 over 2, 5 minus x to the power 3 over 2. And can you see, I don't want this minus 5 over 2, so in order to kind of get it back to a 1, I can multiply it by the constant minus 2 fifths. So if I insert minus 2 fifths here, okay, better put that in brackets though, then differentiating this, minus 2 fifths times 5 minus x to the power 5 over 2, would give me 5 minus x to the power 3 over 2. Okay? So we mustn't forget the constant of integration there. So all I need to do now is just tidy this up one more time. And we've got minus 2 thirds then x minus 1 multiplied by 5 minus x to the power 3 over 2. And for this term, that's going to be minus 4 fifteenths. Minus 4 fifteenths then of 5 minus x to the power 5 over 2. 
and plus C. Okay, 